Hey everyone, so today's video is a, another school type related video. I'm doing so many like school related videos this month, so expect a lot of them. Um, but today's video is a freshman advice, and I didn't really think I had a lot of advice to give, but um, now that I was thinking back to my freshman year and how I was, I kind of have a lot of advice. So um, I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started. So my first piece of advice is to get involved um, with like, I don't know, when people always tell me to get involved, I always think of like clubs and like sports and stuff like that, but that's like a big way to get involved, but you can also get involved with like going to like football games, going to basketball games, going to softball and baseball games, like that's how you can get involved and kind of like participate, cheer on your friends, cheer on the people you know, that's kind of just what I do, I don't really, like I'm not in any sports at school or any clubs, I was going to be in student council, but that's for the birds, um, and also get involved with like things outside of school, like hanging out with like your class so like when the year that you're graduating is called your class if you're a freshman and you don't know um so like i'm class of 2017 so i hang out with my class like a good amount like i don't know not everyone in the class but a good amount with the people in my class and just like when there's like pep assemblies and just regular assemblies kind of get involved with those two like start a wave in like your section if that's how you do it because that's how we do it um just kind of participate in that way and be involved because it's so exciting i love it i love going to like basketball games and cheering them on and it's just really fun and that's just another way to get involved if you're not into like sports and clubs and stuff like that it's really fun so the next part is mainly about friends. I, since freshman year, I've came a long, long way with the whole friends thing. Um, I started off my freshman year not really anticipating to make friends or to really have friends because this huge ordeal thing happened after, no, eighth grade summer, so the summer before freshman year. This huge thing happened with one of my best friends and like I stopped talking to like my huge group of friends and so I just kind of went into freshman year and sophomore year and part of junior year like alone so to say but I really wasn't I was hanging out with like my brother's girlfriends and you know that was okay and then I hung out with like my cousin for a really long time well for the first half of junior year I hung out with him um, and stuff like that but then like once I got into Hoya, I made like, I wouldn't say made up, but I just like started talking to that group of friends again, so that was really fun, um, it still is really fun, but freshman year was really crazy for me, um, it was full of so many emotions, like I, you know, the whole not having somebody to talk to, not having like somebody to walk to class with, or like tell them how your day went like that was really like stressful for me and like I always thought like who am I gonna go to football games with who am I gonna hang out with on the weekends like who am I gonna hang out with over Christmas and Thanksgiving break and stuff like that and I ended up just not hanging out with people and not going to football games not going to basketball games and stuff like that because I didn't have those people and I didn't want to go alone like I'm confident I think but I'm not that confident um, so my number one advice to you, if you're a freshman, is if you do have friends, and just overall to anyone, if you do have friends, keep them, they are, well, I mean, I don't know, as a junior, it's, I mean, I don't know, like you get into so many different things, you have so many different opportunities. Especially since you're being older, like parties come around and like gatherings and, and stuff like that. So it's just nice to have friends. If I could go back to 8th grade year, I would definitely make up with my friends and just kind of brush it off my shoulders 
and that's 100% what I do now with my friends and whenever we get into arguments I just brush it off my shoulders and I'm just like if you show them you don't care they're gonna be more mad because you're showing them that you don't care and then they're gonna care more about the argument and stuff like that I don't know because the other day I got into this argument with one of my friends and I like go into total silent mode whenever people make me mad and then she came up to me and she's like oh are you so mad at me and it's just like if you show them you don't care they're gonna be more mad because you don't care and it's just like I'm trying to make that part of my personality is to make it seem like I don't care because it's just like if you care I don't care no that's not even what I'm trying to say so if you show them that you don't care about the situation they're gonna and like you're mad at them they're gonna care more about you and kind of about how you like feel about them you know if that makes any sense I don't know because my friends don't like when I'm mad at them and I kind of when they're mad at me I kind of just brush it off and I'm just like I don't care if you're mad at me or not like that's your problem but it's never super serious it's like never super serious and if it is I show them that I don't care and they show me that they don't care and then sooner or later one of us is gonna start to care and we'll make up I mean anytime we do argue like as friends it's just about something stupid and it's ridiculous but my number one advice would be is to just brush it off your shoulders kill them with kindness that's like number one be brave and be confident that's a hundred percent number one if you feel passionate about something be passionate about it show your side like a voice your opinion number one and these are three things that I found on the internet because I didn't really know where to come so I like helped that brainstorm do to yourself don't try to be friends with everyone and don't force relationships I find that if you do force relationships and you want to be best friends all buddy buddy with people all the time you're gonna get sick of them so much and that's how I was with um, my cousin the f end of sophomore year was it in the beginning of junior year no yeah the beginning of junior year I was so close with him we worked at the same place we were with each other probably almost 24 7 and I got sick of him all the time and you might be watching this video but I don't know I just if and I realize it too if you're with someone like 24 7 365 you're gonna get so annoyed with them just like family like you get so annoyed with family all the time and it's just like you're with them all the time that's why you have friends to be with but it's also nice to take a break from those friends and be with family and then go back out like that's what I feel like this summer is gonna kind of be like it's I don't know and especially with hopefully gonna have a job it's just gonna be like a break from them and then once I see them we just like have so much fun so it's always nice to take a break from your friends it's kind of relieving and you get to think and do things for yourself and you get to just kind of hang out with yourself which is what I do all the time I drive around in my car and listen to music and hang out with my brothers and just hang out at home and do YouTube so that's also a really great outlook outlook outlet so it's nice to take a break don't force the relationship as I said um, kind of just let it be honestly yourself be yourself I see this all the time I see and one of my friends does it so much and it annoys the crap out of me like if people will start singing she'll sing with them if well I mean that's not that bad but it's just like if somebody goes and does something she'll do the same thing you know and it's just like be yourself like do the things you want to do like be who you want to be and it's just crazy that you see how many people like will follow and do the same thing get the same like do all the same stuff it's just like be yourself like 
this is you, you were created solely, individually, be an individual, be yourself, do your own thing. Biggest advice to anyone. Um, okay, moving on to freshman studying, etc. Stay focused. Even though it is your freshman year, you still want to stay focused, start off high school right, be on time, don't be late. Your attendance will catch up with you if you like are late maybe twice a week or if you're absent to a few classes a few times a week it will catch up with you I can relate I the second semester of high school of well, I mean of junior year I slacked off so much and I stopped going to some of my classes and it caught up with me because I failed math um, because I didn't take some tests and today was the last day of math class I barely passed gym, which was my first hour, so I didn't really mind, um, but I passed it, barely, so I highly, highly, highly recommend, I mean, some days I'm so tired, I don't want to get out of bed, but it's just like, there's so many things out there and so many, like, things on the internet to help you and help you figure out what's your best way to get you up in the morning and stuff, and the best way I get up in the morning is getting up earlier than I, what I should be and getting prepared and doing things like beforehand so you know that you have enough time to do things and also setting like an alarm but having it maybe on my iPad and keeping my iPad across the room so I actually have to get up and go turn it off and then you know it's kind of better like that so that's what I'm probably gonna do next year because I was awful at getting up on time so yes attendance be on time go to class every day don't skip and it's also really nice like I don't know I really like the feeling of being in school sometimes and being around my friends because I know when summer comes I'm not gonna be with my friends how often I am now so that might be a good or bad thing don't know um, <clears throat> I wrote it on here take notes pay attention I mean those are self-explanatory like actually do work don't slack off uh, next, walk on the right side of the hallway. Oh my gosh. I see this all the time. People, like, will purposely either walk slow, walk on the wrong side, or just stand in the middle of the hallway. It's just like, move it or lose it. Especially if you're a freshman, you better get out the way or you're going to get pushed. Because I know my freshman and sophomore year, I pushed so many people. I didn't even care, though, that I was a freshman, but it's just like... Honestly, if you're going to stand in the hallway, stand somewhere where there's an open space, you know, or, you know, like, don't take up the hallway, the hallway is not yours, go to class, talk to them there, you know, I don't know, that's just, it annoyed me. Um, this one I thought was funny, um, it said, everyone hates freshmen, so don't act like you're better than everyone. So many kids out there will do this. They think that just because they're popular like on Facebook and stuff like that, that when they come to the high school they're going to be like the bomb.com or like hot shit. And it's just like, no. You thought, but you thought wrong. There's almost a thousand kids in the school. I don't know if it's a thousand. Something like that in the school and you're just one person. You're just a freshman. Sit down. Also, I've seen this online. It's not like TV. Whatever you see on TV, like kids going into their freshman year being scared, eating lunch in the bathroom. No, it's not like that. Especially at our school, you can't even, you can barely even go to the bathroom. And it's just like, if you are eating lunch, like, I guarantee you probably will find someone you know or someone you know of and you can just go sit with them or teachers I know like especially if you have me lunch you can sit in their room while you eat lunch or go to like the college and career center well that's what they call it at our school or like go to a counselor's office um, and eat lunch which was convenient but I never did that but it's convenient so at our school we had a senior cafeteria so the seniors were in lunch kind of for the most part so that was also good um and my last piece of advice is to have fun high school is literally a once in a lifetime opportunity and i am just now realizing that um when
when you get older and grow up and become a senior and graduate high school and go to college, you're going to be kind of sad. Like, I feel already sad that high school is about to be over in a year and it's just crazy how fast four years flies by, especially when you're in school most of the time. But enjoy high school, enjoy the opportunities, enjoy the clubs and the people because it's so once in a lifetime. <laughs> it is like the greatest experience you can ever have. You will never get that experience anywhere else and enjoy the people, enjoy the teachers, enjoy the little things for sure like football games, basketball games, prep rallies. Enjoy them. They enjoy having the freedom and like that even though I'm like not really one to say but after hearing about so many people and like knowing the responsibilities to come after high school definitely enjoy living like rent free having your parents do things appreciate it because when you get on into the real world it's for sure not going to be like this at all like I don't even expect it to be like this like in two years, I probably won't even be doing this. I probably won't even have time to sit down and film YouTube videos in two years, maybe. Um, and I feel like from different things, it makes you, like, realize the most important things. Like, especially when it comes to, like, my friends and having them again, like, back again. I definitely don't hold on to grudges. I just... It's just so stupid. It's just like I've wanted, I wouldn't say I wanted friends, I just wanted people to hang out with for so long and now that I have it, I'm enjoying it and I don't want it to go anywhere. I'm just so happy with how, you know, high school has treated me and I'm going to be so sad next year graduating and I'm going to be so excited at the same time because it's just going to be a relief to not have high school anymore and not have all the standardized tests and teachers and you know the people that you don't like but the people that you do like you know leave so yeah that is all the advice that i have for you guys thank you guys so much for watching this video hope you guys enjoyed and like i said there will be many more like i said there will be many more high school videos and things about my high school experience coming very soon um so yeah so hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys next time